All right, first alert weather day for today and into tomorrow. Blizzard warning issued by the National Weather Service for some areas that could see gusts between 40 and 60 miles per hour. Blowing snow, drifting snow, and then Arctic cold will follow as we uh, will be stuck with that for quite some time. A look in on the Devil's Lake area. The a little bit of light snow has passed through that area. Uh, the visibility has improved a little bit over the last hour as the band of snow is pushing into the northern valley. Let's get right to the forecast, shall we? South winds ahead of the storm are boosting temperatures. So where we are in the teens and 20s now, there are 30s out to the west. Some spotty areas of mixed precipitation or even some rain possible on the warm side of the system to the left of your screen. But for now, as we head home from work and head into our evening hours, this snow is going to travel right through the Red River Valley. The best chance for those heavier bands are going to be close to 7 o'clock here as we go through the evening. Look at these wind arrows in yellow. Those are gusts over 40 miles per hour at times. So uh, the wind picks up, so it's going to snow and it's going to blow a little bit, making it hard to see. It will be icy. This batch of snow as it's made its way from Bismarck through Jamestown and is now moving through Valley City, causing crashes. Three of them right now reported on Interstate 94. So please slow down, turn off the cruise control and uh, give yourself time to respond to various conditions on the road. Most of the snow pushes after the 10 o'clock hour into Minnesota as temperatures warm. Look at the wind switcheroo. Once it becomes northwesterly, it's game on. You want to be where you're going to be by around 10 to 11 o'clock tonight. After that, the wind really picks up out of the northwest. And any of the snow that's on the ground that continues to shift off to the east, by the way, is going to get blown and drifted by these winds. These winds here will have little pockets and at times overnight where you see some of these yellow to orangish colors, gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour will be possible right into your morning. So the blizzard warning and the best chance of some of those strongest winds will be the Northern Valley. I do anticipate very strong winds, James River Valley, Sisseton Hills as well. Open country out of town will probably be much worse than it is here in town in Fargo. Keep that in mind if you have travel over the hills and through the woods. Through the midday hour tomorrow, temperatures will continue their plight and descend down the ex exiting snow. will move off into eastern Minnesota. The wind continues and then we turn our attention to nasty wind chills after sunset. We'll be approaching 15 to 30 below as we head through the overnight hours and this brutal air will stick with us. Here's the snow now making its way through the or into Crookston from Grand Forks into Fargo and well Castleton. So we take a look. There's a heavier band of snow, not snow, but snow moving into Britain, South Dakota with visibilities down to a quarter of a mile or even less at times with the wind and snow combination. That visibility reduction will track right into the valley here shortly. The gustiest of the winds already over 40 miles per hour will be approaching as we go to bed tonight. And that's why we said make sure you're where you want to be. Temperatures are warmest to the west. We'll actually see a little boost in temperatures here in Fargo as we go through the evening hours. By morning, we'll have some pockets of one to three inches of snow from the western portions of Minnesota. Off to the east, most of us will get a trace to an inch of snow. There could be some enhanced totals up near the Botno and Rolla areas. So we'll call that zero to two inches up in northeast North Dakota, including the Devil's Lake Basin. All in all, we're not expecting deep piles of snow, but it is sure going to blow with this Alberta Clipper. Tomorrow, look at your temperatures in Fargo 18, and we're on the decline all day long down to the single digits, and by 10 o'clock, zero with wind chills that'll feel closer to 20 to maybe even 40 below in places. Three o'clock snapshot, single digit temperatures on their way down, wind chills five to 25 below zero at the three o'clock hour already with the wind continuing to keep things iced up on your area roads. Arctic air through your weekend. Temperatures approaching 20 below on Sunday. The cold air does stick around. We have a shot at one whole degree, Stacy. That is above zero. One degree on Tuesday. Ah, that's called a brief warm up. I mean, real brief. Then, uh, well, 20 below again on Wednesday as we go right back down into the cellar there. Cold weather tonight. Be careful tomorrow morning and have that Valley News Live we weather app handy because we're updating it regularly. The briefest I've seen, I think. One. Yeah. I, are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, All exactly. right, you bet. Next, the latest on a new illness that may be more common than researchers thought.